USD CAD. Now, if you remember from my last uh, midweek analysis, I told you clearly that right now we are facing a strong support level on the USD CAD and we can expect for the reversal to start to happen and, and that is indeed what happened. The market has uh, thankfully started reversing right on the support level. Now, going back in the past, we can see that this support level was really strong. This is what we are talking about when we are saying key support level. That is the kind of key support level you want to find to know if the market is going to reverse on this level or not. However, now what happened next is the market started to reverse. Now we are expecting for the reversal because from my expectation, the, AUD, uh, the USD CAD is going to continue its uh, bearish momentum. However, we just need to know where we can start shorting the USD CAD. That actually might take some time. So please guys, bear with me in this video. Now, uh, we can see that we had many strong support levels has been broken out such as this level right here and also this level right here. Now the question, which level of these we can actually start selling the USD CAD? That is a good question. That is going to increase our knowledge in the market about how to read support and resistance levels. Now, the thing here is we need to find where is the key support and the key resistance among these two levels. If I ask you, which level of the support do you think is really stronger? Is it this level or this level? The answer is simply this one. It's obvious that this was the key support level because this can this level has changed the whole direction. For, this is daily candles, guys. So remember, for many weeks we had the bearish momentum. Immediately after t uh, touching this level of the support, the market it changed for m few weeks also. To become now an upper trend with the upper momentum therefore we can see that this is really strong key support level meaning this is the level we can expect the market to start reversing after retesting it by this candle right here now we need to actually more we need to get more confirmation about if this level is really strong so let's check in the past and we can see indeed this level was strong right here and right here that is not enough we need to see it stronger as a resistance as well so just going uh, more in the past getting delete let me just delete these old lines uh, what's level 3052 no this is different line let's go back oh my god look at that check it out look uh, look at that in the past in 2009 uh, 15 March 2009 this level was acting really as a very strong uh, resistance level therefore this is really trusted level of uh, uh, sorry as a resistance we can rely on it to start shorting the USD CAD and let me just mention the level to sell on 1.3052 not only that of course we just need to confirm also using the trend lines mythology so drawing the trend lines let me since we are going to sell order we need to draw our trends li uh, trend lines on a resistance level right so let me just find a good resistance level by the way this is something maybe not all of you are gonna get that is how i draw my resistance trend lines i'm used to this one i explained it in the videos many times however it seems like uh, only few people are able to get it that is my style in drawing the trend lines like that. So anyway, let me just confirm if it is accurate or not. Almost. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just like that. That is the right way. Let me go back to the four hour chart. And yes, it is correct. Yeah, as I said, many of you won't get it. However, it is almost the same so we can expect for the market to reverse uh, after uh, reversing um, after going up for almost 50 pips and after that the USD CAD should be really good for the sell after retesting this previous support level so going back to the daily candles we can expect for the market to continuous bearish momentum all the way until it hit this previous support level right here uh, that's gonna take some time so I cannot give you the tech profit level however that is my expectation for the USD CAD most likely yes look at the past also guys uh, here and right here here and here so we are facing really strong uh, resistance level most likely the market is going to reverse right on this level 
uh, let me just draw another Fibonacci retracement line just to be sure level 50 draw it from this level so it should be like that actually let's not use it like this and actually using Fibonacci on this scenario is gonna be uh, confusing for sure anyway most likely the USDCHF again I'm saying you now on the weekly candles is facing this previous uh, strong support level and anyway we can start shorting the USDCHF sorry USD CAD and keep your trade running for almost hopefully we are going to get that in this week 230 pips uh, let's just wait to see what will gonna happen the USD CAD is moving really slowly these days so anyway that was my expectation for the USD CAD and thank you guys for watching